Hello, you are watching Ultraflux Power Series. We will now review how to work with Easy Melt Induction Melting Furnace. Please carefully read the operator's manual. Prior to start, ensure the unit is ready for work. Check the cooling system. Check your cooling system for quantity of cooling water, temperature of cooling water, connections to the machine, and leaks. The cooling water temperature should not exceed 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit for the machine to function correctly. Check the electrical system and connections to the machine. Attention! If you notice visual damage on the power cables, immediately disconnect from the unit. An authorized electrician should address this issue. Check the intake and exhaust vents of the unit. Clean dust and debris if necessary. Check the opening for the induction coil. It should be clean of debris. Carefully inspect induction coil for exposed turns. If any are present, the coil must be replaced. Prepare the necessary items for work. Check the crucible for cracks or wear. If the graphite or ceramic crucible is worn out, it needs to be replaced. Prepare the material to be melted and place it in the crucible. In this case, we are using a copper button. Please prepare the molds for casting. We will be using old crucibles for molds. Check and prepare all necessary tools. Check and prepare the personal safety items. Protective clothing and shoes. Thermal resistant gloves. And safety goggles. Check the settings of the unit. Power adjust. Time adjust. Temperature adjust. Press and hold select to enter heat off parameter menu. Enable or disable thermal regulator. Check coolant flow rate. This is in liters per minute. Exit from parameter menu. Heat on. Press and hold select to enter heat on parameter menu. You can check inverter parameters. Power. Current. Voltage. And frequency. Place the crucible in the induction coil opening. Start the cooling system and start the unit. Start the melting. Monitor the melting process. The time to reach an acceptable melting point depends on several factors. Amount of material. Type of material. The graphite wall thickness and density of the crucible. Your melter is tuned to work with the maximum quantity of material. If you use smaller quantities, your heating time may be longer. Time to melt of small chips or turnings is usually longer than the time to melt ingots. 
you can use the crucible lid to achieve better results. In our case, using a crucible at room temperature, 700 grams of copper can be melted within 8 minutes. For consequent melting, the time is shorter. This amount of metal is roughly the same as 2 kilograms of 24 karat gold. The material needs to be heated to a temperature of 50 to 80 degrees Celsius above its melting temperature so it can be poured easily. When the recommended melting temperature is reached, carefully lift the crucible using a tongs and pour the molded metal. Use all personal safety items. Let the molten material cool in the molds. Attention! Never leave a hot crucible in the unit without supervision. Do not stop the cooling system when a crucible is still in the coil.